Cameron, welcome to Wanderers. You'll have done a few of these in your career down the years. Did this one come as a pleasant surprise? How did this sort of all sort of come about that uh, you're back in the north? Yeah, it was most, most definitely a pleasant surprise. Um, obviously came around the gaffer knowing uh, the previous gaffer at Luton and them to have another talk and, and, and obviously allowing me to have a talk with the gaffer. And, you know, as soon as I've had, had, a, had a good chat with him and I sit down, um, you know, my mind was made up, you know, as far as I was concerned, you know, what I wanted to do. and. You know, just hearing about the project and you know where the football club's going, um, you know, it was something what I definitely wanted to be part of, and you know, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. An, an exciting new challenge at this stage of, of your career? Yeah, of course. Every challenge is always exciting, and a new one always brings that little bit of excitement. So, you know, um, I, I just can't wait to get going. And obviously, I feel like I can, I can still produce the goods on the pitch, and mm. you know, and obviously the manager felt that well, and you know, he was a an integral part of getting me to the club. Because obviously you've been a very active player in the championship this season, playing at a very good level still. So uh, the fire is still obviously burning brightly. Yeah, definitely. The desire is there to keep playing for me. You know, um, you know, Touchwood. I've been quite well, quite fortunate with with injuries, and I've you know managed to keep myself fit over the years. So um, you know, the age thing's always hanging over your head because you know it's so relevant in football nowadays. But you know, physically I feel great, and you know, I, I still want to. You know, be out there every day training with the lads and you know contributing on a Saturday, and I've been able to do that um, for so long, and I'm fortunate enough. That, you know, my journey is not ending that. Not ending now. Absolutely, and with age comes experience. I know the manager is very keen to get that into the squad, so you can have I think, perhaps a dual role, massive out on, on the pitch, but he in and around the dressing room. Are looking forward to that as well? Sort of bringing a bit of wisdom to the camp. Yeah, of course. I think as you get older, I think naturally you sort of tend to to gravitate towards that side of things anyway because like you say you've, you've trodden certain paths before and with your age comes experience and you know I've got plenty of that so um, you know it's, it's quite similar to the sort of role I was doing at Luton where I was um, you know helping a few of the younger players there and you know um, just adding that little bit of experience and and, and that leadership within the chessing room and within the football club and obviously still being able to contribute on a Saturday as well, which is the most important thing. Obviously, there have been some top strikers at Luton have sort of progressed, I'm sure, with, with your help and, and uh, I'm sure you've had a little chance to have a little look at the squad today. I think we've got those sort of players here as well. So yeah, absolutely. I can, that. I can see familiarities with, mm -hmm. with both groups and um, you know, that was something obviously the manager was, was, was looking at as well. And, um, you know, from a striker's perspective, you know, it's nice when, when these players who you believe have got potential and what can progress to the next level, um, you know, what you can help them, you know, you can take them under your wing mm -hmm. and do your stewardship. And, you know, if they're willing to learn and listen, then, you know, the you know, players will always go far in football um, if they're willing to, to apply themselves in the right way. Mm -hmm. And in the shorter, immediate term, you're joining a club in the top six with a lot to play for the rest of this season, starting tomorrow. Again, that, does that get the juices flowing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you've been in fine form this year and the league's so competitive, you know, as, as is the championship. But, you know, you look at League One, there's some, some real big football clubs in this league. Um, you know, there's only three places available for, for promotion and, you know, we're certainly in a mix for it. So, um, you know, a long way to go yet. Um, we just got to keep, keep winning games of football and churning out results and hopefully come the end of the season, you're in the shake-up places and, and uh, where, the, where the medals are handed out. So, you know, quietly confident within the group. I think there's that belief within this football club at the minute um, that the club is going in the right direction and obviously the upward trajectory. Um, it seems to be really positive, so it's, it's something definitely to be excited about. You had a little taste of League One a couple of years ago with MK Dons, and that was a very productive spell for you. Scored a lot of goals uh, at this level, then, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, um, when I first came back from abroad, mm. I, I went there with Russell Martin, mm. uh, who's a good friend of mine, so, you know, obviously a little bit of experience in the league, and um, I think it's actually got stronger since, since that time. So, um, yeah, like I alluded to earlier, there's, there's a lot of strong big clubs in this, in this division, and all of it, you know, desperate to get out of the league so you know let's hope we can be one of them this year. A lot of Premier League experience on your CV as well and you would have played here of course in the Premier League against uh, Wanderers back in the day some, some memories? Yeah definitely some memories you know rolling back the years um, seems seems only yesterday but <laughs> you know definitely um, looking forward to, to being out on the pitch again and you know gracing the stadium. Yes yeah, so you're finally on that coming you, you know what this club is capable of I'm not saying we're going to be there tomorrow, but as you say, you've been there and seen it at, at its best. You, you hope you can help help on that journey. Absolutely, like I said, you know the upward trajectory the club's got is is crazy, and the potential it's got to to get back to the the heights it was once at. Um, these things are up and overnight. Everyone knows that. You know, I'm, I'm sure people um, will realise where the club went to mm -hmm. and the, the turnaround in the, its journey 
on, the, on its way back now. So, you know, hopefully you can be a part of that. And if you're a part of success, then it always puts a smile on your face and makes you proud.